So after learning about numerical factors and algebraic factors, this time this is time to learn about coefficients of terms of algebraic expression. And let's take an algebraic expression as 10 times P Q R S plus 4. Now in this algebraic expression, we have two terms. One is this term and another one is this one. This term is actually what? Constant. For the constants, for the constants, we do not have any coefficients. We do not have any coefficients. So we can find coefficients for only those terms which have algebraic factors in them, like which contain algebraic, which contain variables actually which contain variables. So clearly in this algebraic expression, we have two terms. This one is constant and this one is actually the term which contains variables. Now, if we have to tell the coefficients of this algebraic expression, first one we want to discuss is numerical coefficient, numerical coefficient or simply coefficient of the term 10 P Q R and S. So this is the term 10 P Q R S and you have to tell the numerical coefficient or coefficient of the term this one this is the term this number 10 that's actually what it's actually the numerical factor or simply the numerical the number the number in a given term will be the numerical coefficient or simply coefficient of the whole term of this whole term so 10 in this exam in this term 10 is the numerical is the numerical coefficient or simply you can say coefficient if you want to use a numerical it's okay otherwise simply coefficient of 10 p q r s right but we actually sometimes when we talk about coefficients of a given term we actually take it in a more general way in a more general way and how do we do this let me tell you so this is actually what numerical coefficient okay now let's take when we talk in a general way so 10 p q R S is the term where 10 is numerical coefficient. Now I'm going to take P only. Okay, I'm going to take P only. So P is actually literal literal coefficient literal coefficient or simply coefficient of this time you're not going to use the term pq 10 pqrs when we say the coefficient of the term then we simply mean the numerical uh, the number but when we say about literal coefficient or simply coefficient of like in this term P is literal coefficient of 10 Q R S. Can you see here? We have simply removed this P and we are taking now this one. So if we take out P and we say that P is the coefficient of 10 Q R S. In the same way, Q is the literal coefficient of literal 
when we use little when we are actually taking the variables okay little coefficient of so this time we are taking away q 10 p r s in the same way let's take r so r is literal coefficient and why literal because r is a variable coefficient of 10 p q s now let's take s so s is literal coefficient of 10 p q r okay now we can take a few more combinations and now let's take 10 and p together 10 and p together okay so 10 p again since we have a number but we have a variable here right so 10 p is a literal coefficient of remove 10 p and simply write q r s let's take a few more combinations now let's take 10 q let's take 10 and q okay so if you take 10 and q 10 q that is 10 times q is literal coefficient of 10 sorry p r s now let's take 10 and r so 10 times r is a literal coefficient of p q and s let's take 10 and s so 10 s is a lit is the lit literal coefficient of p q r you can you know write the little coefficient by making different combinations like let me show you three or four more different combinations in this one let's take 10 p q together 10 p q together okay so 10 times p times q is the literal coefficient of r s now let's take 10 times p and r so 10 p r is the literal coefficient of q and s now let's take 10 p s 10 p s is the literal coefficient of q and r right now let's take 10 q and r 10 q r so 10 q r is the literal coefficient of p and s in the same fashion you can you know go on by making different combinations you can even take like this one you can make in this one you have three combination i mean combination of two variables in one number we can make combination of one number and three variables let's take 10 p q r is the literal coefficient of s so the main thing is whenever you are talking about coefficient of the term like in this case you are talking about the term you always have to tell the numerical coefficient okay simple for that term for the term but when you enter within the term when you are now taking this term now this term can have several coefficients right one is the numerical coefficient for sure but there can be you know other coefficients that are actually literal coefficients and you can simply write the literal coefficients by forming different combinations of variables and numbers right let's take one last example and let's take this time very simple one let's say you have 4x squared y squared plus 2xy and minus 4 
Clearly, we can write this as, as we have discussed in our earlier videos, in the terms in the factors videos. I'll put the video link of those tutorials in the description box below. 4x square y square plus 2xy plus since this is negative sign so we put within the bracket within a bracket and minus 4 because we know that terms always add up to form expression uh, algebraic expression so it's always better to put the negative sign within this bracket so that this is term 1 this is term 2 and this is term 3 all the three terms are being added to make this algebraic expression now if you take the term if you take the term 4x square y square and if you have to tell the coefficient of the term 4x square y square the coefficient of this term so that means you have to tell the numerical coefficient numerical coefficient and let me remove two from here so that we can have some more understanding. Numerical coefficient. So what's the numerical coefficient? That is the number four. So the numerical coefficient or simply the coefficient four is actually is coefficient or numerical coefficient of four x square y square of this term. But when you now look within this term and let's talk about the numerical coefficient and literal coefficient. So the first numerical coefficient will be numerical coefficient will be four. Then let's take only x square. So x square will be literal literal coefficient of 4 y square and similarly y square will be literal coefficient of 4 x squared right for this term this was for 4 x square y square let's take for x y this is x y so if you have to tell the numerical coefficient of this x y whenever there is no number within a term okay then you have to think of the number one okay think of this number one therefore the numerical coefficient the numerical coefficient of x y will be 1. Now let's take x. So this x will be actually literal literal coefficient of y and similarly y will be literal coefficient of x okay what about this minus 4 we know that this minus 4 is actually what is a constant and since this is a constant we don't have coefficients for any constant now suppose this algebraic expression was minus 4x square y square and minus xy then what we would do is let me remove this one okay so put within this bracket minus sign and this minus sign right now we have again three terms this one this one and this one so in this case now we have minus 4 and here we have minus 
the only difference will come is like the numerical coefficient will become minus 4 in this case right so the numerical coefficient will become minus 4 in this case and here also this becomes minus 4 right and x square becomes little coefficient of little coefficient of minus 4 y squared and y squared becomes little coefficient of minus 4x squared same way this minus xy so this becomes minus 1 times xy and the numerical coefficient becomes will be minus 1 in this case and x is actually little coefficient of little coefficient of minus y and y is little coefficient of minus x okay so you have to keep in mind that minus sign will always be associated with the numerical number with the nu number and not with the variable right so if there is no number you have to think of as 1 if there is minus sign then of as minus 1 right so this was about the numerical coefficient and the literal coefficient